Packet 9C, we're going to start off with Taylor's formula up here at the top and uh, we're going to just extend Taylor's formula to create Taylor series. And So all we have to do is remember Taylor's formula. And if you remember the, the, the spirit behind the formula, if we're going to approximate f of x using a polynomial, then we're going to make sure that wherever we're centered, remember a is always where the polynomial is centered, that f on, in the polynomial uh, at a where we're centered is exactly the same as the value of the function when x is equal to a. And then we'll also the first derivative at a multiplied by the x minus a to the first power and so on and so on, Taylor's formula, okay? And so uh, we're noticing here we have different notation here, p at 0 is 1, p prime at 0 is 2. That really stands for the polynomial's value at 0 is 1, okay? So let's maybe make this a bit more general or actually specific to this example. We know that f of x construct a fourth degree polynomial. Okay, so f of x is approximately equal to the polynomial of behavior at x equals zero, the polynomial's value at zero, plus the polynomial's derivative at zero multiplied by, and now at x equals zero, this is where we're centered, x equals a. Okay, so x minus zero to the first power plus the second derivative of the polynomial at zero multiply by, instead of subtracting zero every time, I'm just going to put x to the second power over two factorial plus the third derivative at zero multiplied by x to the third over three factorial and then plus the fourth derivative and once we get past three we can put the, the, the numbered derivative in parentheses and just actually write the number multiply or the fourth derivative of the polynomial at zero multiplied by x to the fourth all over four factorial. So all we have to do is replace the values in our Taylor's theorem polynomial with the values that you see here. Okay, so uh, f of x is approximately equal to, oops, approximately equal to p of zero which is one plus p prime of zero is two, x minus zero is x. Okay, p double prime is three plus three x squared over two factorial plus third derivative at zero is four multiplied by x cubed over three factorial plus fourth derivative at zero is five and so we have five x to the fourth over four factorial. So all you're doing is you're plugging and chugging. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and, and simplify this a little bit. 3 times 2 and so the 2's are going to cancel there. We have 4, that's not going to cancel at all. So um, p of x meaning the polynomial, okay so let's scoot on down here, p of x is equal to 1 plus 2x plus 3 over 2 factorial would be 3 halves. Let's make it look pretty. x squared plus, remember we canceled the 2 there, we have 2 over 3 plus 2 thirds x cubed plus, and then 4 factorial, 4 times 3 times 2 is 24, so we have plus 5 over 24 x to the fourth. Okay, that's it. That's the polynomial fourth degree. Let's look at the next example. Remember that we found a power series for ln of 1 plus x. Maybe we didn't do that. Uh, let's see if we can find the power series another way. Okay, construct a fourth degree polynomial that matches the behavior at x equals zero. Okay, so let's look at this first example and understand we just need to generate successive derivatives at zero for this particular function. Okay, and so we have ln of one plus x. This is really from the very beginning of this kind of a problem. You take a function and you rewrite it. Okay, so we're going to write it in terms of uh, f at zero Okay, f at zero plus, remember, f prime at zero. I would encourage you to rewrite Taylor's formula every single time you do one of these until you know it like the back of your hand. Okay, centering at x equals zero means it's a Maclaurin series, okay, which means we just have an x minus zero to the first power, so just x, plus the next derivative at zero, multiplied by x squared over two factorial, 
plus and a fourth degree polynomial. So we're going to need to get all the way out to the fourth power plus the third derivative at zero, x to the third over three factorial, plus the fourth derivative. This is tedious. I, I have to admit, this is very tedious. But guess what? These are the kinds of problems you get on the AP exam. So you get, uh, you generate that series there, okay? Or this polynomial. If we put plus dot dot dot, it would be an infinite series. But we only need a fourth degree polynomial, okay? Well, what do we not know? Well, we don't know f of zero. We don't know f prime of zero. So we need to find those. Well, let's look at this. Let's look at f of x is ln of 1 plus x. Okay, well, it's f prime of x. Well, it's 1 over 1 plus x. Okay. Well, good. Well, it's f double prime of x. Well, it's 1 plus x to the negative 1. 1 plus x to the negative 1. And so we have negative 1 plus x to the negative 2. Okay, the third derivative of x is negative 2 times negative 1, which is 2, times 1 plus x to the negative 3. And the fourth derivative of x would be negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, times 1 plus x to the negative 4. Okay, let's clean that up a little bit now. We've got 1 over 1 plus x. We have negative 1 over 1 plus x squared. We have 2 over 1 plus x cubed. And we have negative 6 over 1 plus x to the fourth. So that's just our successive derivatives of f of x. Okay, but we need the successive derivatives and f of x evaluated at x equals 0. Okay, because that's what it says. It says we need the fourth degree polynomial that matches the behavior of this function but at x equals 0. So we use Taylor's formula, we find the success of derivatives, and we replace x with 0, because that's what it says to do. And so we go, all right, well, f of 0 would be ln of 1 plus 0. What's ln of 1 plus 0? That's ln of 1. What's ln of 1? ln of 1 is 0. Okay. What's f prime is 0? 1 over 1 plus 0. That's 1 f double prime at 0. Well, f double prime at 0, you replace x with 0. Negative 1 over 1 squared. That's negative 1. What is f triple prime at 0? Well, f triple prime at 0, you put a 0 in place of x. 2 over 1 cubed, that's 2. And then finally, the fourth derivative of f at 0 is you replace x with 0. So you have negative 6 over 1 to the fourth. That's negative 6. So we have all of our coefficients of our fourth degree polynomial. We replace the coefficients that we found into the Taylor's formula. That's all we have to do. So P4 of x, meaning that the fourth degree polynomial of x is equal to f of 0, which is 0, plus, let's start putting that in. So we don't need to put a uh, 0 there. We're going to start with this one, f prime of 0 times x. So it's 1 times x, okay? Plus the second derivative at 0 times x squared over 2 factorial. Well, the second derivative at 0 is negative 1. So we say minus 1 times x squared over 2 factorial, okay? Then we add the third derivative at 0. Well, that value is 2. So 2x cubed over 3 factorial plus 2x cubed over 3 factorial. And then we have... Uh, plus the fourth derivative at 0. Now the fourth derivative at 0 is negative, negative 6. So we have minus 6x to the fourth over 4 factorial. Feel free to leave it like that, or if you really want to, you can simplify, make it look prettier. Uh, here the 2 is going to cancel. We have 2 divided by 3 times 2, so it's going to be 1 over 3, x to the third, minus and then we're going to have, now this is where you start to see a pattern. You could, uh, you could simplify everything and you, you start to see, oh, that's a 6. And then that's 4 times 3 times 2. It's 4 times 6. So the 6 is cancel. And we get 1 over 4 times x to the 4th. So that's a nicer looking polynomial. And that, in fact, is our answer. And we are going to stop right there.